Hi, quick message before we start with the tutorial today about eyebrows and the power of brows. Can I please ask you to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel? It'd be really great for me. Then I know if I'm doing the right things for you. Okay, let's get on to it. Today, um, I'm sitting here, it's a lovely sunny day outside. I'm sitting here and I've got some makeup on. But you know what? My face isn't quite finished. It's lacking something. It's lacking some power. And that power is my brows. It's really important, it doesn't matter what age you are, it's really important to do your brows. And if we don't do them, we, we lack a frame for our face. If we, were, if we were painting something, which is what we're essentially doing to our faces, if we were painting something, we would want to put in um, a frame just to give it some oomph, you know, just to place it properly. Now the problem is with a lot of women over 45, um, over 50, whatever, over 60, 70, we've all got, no we haven't all got, it's not all of us, many of us have quite thin brows and a lot of that is from where we used to pluck them far too thinly because that was the fashion um, back in the 70s, uh, early 80s. Um, and the other thing of course is oestrogen. Now the oestrogen causes our brows to thin but it also causes them to shorten. And once upon a time I used to have a monobrow, you know, almost, not quite, but almost. And um, we're just checking that we're okay in the camera. Yep, I used to have this monobrow almost that um, constantly needed waxing, you know, all the time I was getting my brows done. And of course now I've got the opposite problem where I do have some brows and they're not bad, but there's a lot of sparse patches and they are definitely, definitely an awful lot shorter than they used to be. And sometimes when you've got a, a longer face like mine, actually a slightly longer brow um, can really help to balance the face. So I'm going to show you today um, how I put my brows in um, and it's a soft way because we don't want hard brows when we're getting older. It's not, it's not attractive and in fact I don't think it is actually very flattering either. The softer brow looks full, it looks youthful, but at the same time um, it doesn't make us look like we're hard and angry all the time, even if we are. Okay, so there are two ways to do your brows, really, I would suggest. Well, there are a lot more. There's pomade, there's God knows what. But the two ways that I found the most successful are either a pencil, and this is the It Brow Power. Um, I do use this if I'm going somewhere. Um, you know, if I'm going out for the evening and I want a slightly heavier brow, but for the daytime I actually find it doesn't work that well for me. Um, excuse me, it's another hay fever day, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Trust you to get me with a hay a hay on a hay fever day. Now, the other option, and I will just have to check my... I'm not still not used to this left and right malarkey. The other option is to use something like your eyeshadows try and get them in for you and I'm going to use one of the browns from this palette and this is the, the Tartlet palette I've had it for years I bought it in um, LA years ago but it is available in the UK which is amazing but if you are traveling to the States um, Sephora definitely sells it okay so what I'm going to do is I'm also going to use a brush that's slightly tapered I hope you can see that it's just slightly tapered just so that we can get some shape into the brow so Looking at my brows, they're quite a medium shape. If any of you have a size, oh crikey, Janie, I'm, I am a real proper menopausal woman. <laughs> I can't even get my words out. Okay, I am going to use a medium shade of eyeshadow because if you've seen the um, the stamp on eyebrows that I did, I think we can all agree that dark eyebrows are not for Janie. Okay, so here we go then. So what I'm doing is I've put some on there. I hope you can see what I'm going to do. I do need a mirror because um, I'm blooming useless otherwise. And I'm just going to start more to the middle. Okay, that's the best of place. Oh, bit dark, but we'll get it. We'll get it sorted. I'm not going to worry. I'm putting some shape in. Can you see the line I'm putting in there? And that's where this brush is really handy. Now, what I don't want to do is get too dark at the front because um, otherwise I'll give myself a scouse brow which is not attractive. 
this brow is actually coming out quite dark on me. Okay, now don't be scared to go up and over the top because that's where you can put a little bit of shape in. Okay, and what I'm doing is I'm sort of gently, I don't know if you can see, but gently feathering and squinting. Okay, now what I've done now it is quite a heavy brow, I have to say. Let's pretend this is an evening brow, shall we? So take then this. And what I, what I did before I started was I actually went through my brows with this because that then clears out any debris that might be, you know, on your brow and you don't want that in the way. So, take my brush, fiddle around as I always do, and then just start to get this in. I'm just brushing my brows up at the moment so that I can Look, they look crazy at the moment. See? Crazy. Uh, and then I'll start to brush them into shape. Now, as I say, that is quite a dark brow for me. Um, perhaps that would be more of an evening brow for me. But what I have managed to do is fill in here that was missing. Not coming too straight there because otherwise that, that you get that real Instagram brow, which is not hum my humble opinion, not flattering on. Apart from my two beautiful nieces, Mimi and Stevie, who actually managed to rock it really well. But apart from them, I've not seen anybody that I like it with. So here we go. Just a slight finish tidy up. Now, what you can do is if you want to keep your brow on all day, you can use brow gel. I don't like it, to be perfectly honest, on me, um, because I always feel like my eyebrows are a bit stiff. <laughs> um, and also, you need to be a bit careful. because. If... Hi, I've just done the other eyebrow. I've just tidied up that slight little bit that was not looking so great. Um, anyway, I hope I've convinced you to do your eyebrows. I hope you have a brilliant day. Enjoy life. Bye.